Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Today we delve into the intriguing phenomenon sweeping the global workforce, the big stay. It's a time of unprecedented change where the old rules of career progression are being rewritten. The once common practice of job hopping for higher pay and better prospects is waning. In its place, we see a growing trend of employees choosing to stay put. This shift is driven by a confluence of factors, chief among them being a tighter labor market and a shrinking pay premium for those who dare to switch jobs. The very ground beneath our feet, it seems, is shifting. But why is this happening? What forces are shaping this new reality? And most importantly, how can you, the discerning professional, navigate this complex landscape to your advantage? To understand the big stay, we must first acknowledge the seismic shifts in the global economy. For decades, the prevailing wisdom was to climb the corporate ladder by changing jobs every few years. This strategy, we were told, was the surest path to salary increases and career advancement. But the winds of change are blowing, my friends. The labour market, once a boundless ocean of opportunity, is tightening its grip. Companies grappling with economic uncertainty are becoming more cautious in their hiring practices. This newfound prudence is reflected in the shrinking pay premium offered to job switchers. The days of significant salary bumps for simply changing employers are fading into the annals of history. This begs the question, is the big stay a temporary blip or the new normal? This trend, my astute observers, is not confined to a single nation or region. It's a global phenomenon, sweeping across continents with equal fervor. From the bustling metropolises of North America to the industrial heartlands of Europe, the narrative remains strikingly similar. Take the United States, for instance, a nation long considered the land of opportunity. Recent data paints a compelling picture. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the quit rate, a key indicator of employee confidence and willingness to switch jobs, has been steadily declining. This suggests that American workers are becoming increasingly risk averse, opting for the perceived safety of their current roles rather than venturing into the unknown, and who can blame them? The global economy, still reeling from a series of shocks, offers little solace to those seeking greener pastures. In times of uncertainty, my friends, stability becomes a prized commodity. And what better way to secure stability than by staying put in a known environment? For many professionals, the decision to stay put is driven by a deep-seated need for security. The fear of the unknown, the prospect of starting afresh in a new organization, and the potential disruption to one's personal life all contribute to the allure of staying put. In a world grappling with economic volatility and geopolitical tensions, the comfort of a steady paycheck and familiar surroundings holds immense appeal. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic has fundamentally reshaped our relationship with work. The rise of remote work and flexible work arrangements has blurred the lines between our professional and personal lives. This newfound flexibility for some has made staying in a current role more appealing than ever before. The price of transition. However, my discerning viewers, every decision, every path we choose comes with its own set of trade-offs. While the big stay offers a sense of security and stability, it also presents certain drawbacks that cannot be ignored. The most significant of these is the potential opportunity cost. By choosing to stay put, professionals risk becoming complacent, their skills atrophying and their careers stagnating. 
In today's rapidly evolving job market, where innovation is paramount and adaptability is king, standing still can be akin to moving backwards. Furthermore, staying in a role for an extended period can lead to a decline in learning and development opportunities. The excitement of acquiring new skills and expanding one's knowledge base can wane, replaced by a sense of monotony and routine. This, in turn, can impact job satisfaction and overall career growth. Navigating the Labyrinth So how does one navigate this labyrinth of choices? How do you, the ambitious professional, strike a balance between the allure of stability and the pursuit of growth? The answer, my friends, lies in making informed decisions, decisions rooted in a deep understanding of both the macro and microeconomic forces at play. It's about weighing the pros and cons of staying versus switching, of carefully evaluating your current situation, your long-term aspirations, and the opportunities that align with your unique skill set and career goals. It's about being proactive, about taking charge of your career destiny rather than being swept away by the currents of change. Welcome back, my friends. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the big stay, it's imperative that we broaden our lens and survey the global stage. This phenomenon, as we've established, is not confined to a single nation or region. It's a global symphony, orchestrated by the invisible hand of economic forces. From the bustling metropolises of Asia to the financial hubs of Europe, the narrative echoes with remarkable consistency. What we're witnessing is a fundamental shift in employee behaviour, a recalibration of priorities in the face of uncertainty. This shift is driven in no small part by the realisation that the old rules of the game no longer apply. The days of blindly chasing the next big paycheck, of job hopping as a means to climb the corporate ladder, are fading into the rearview mirror. Across the pond. Let's cast our gaze across the pond to the United Kingdom, a nation steeped in history and tradition. Once a bastion of job security, the UK has, in recent decades, embraced a more fluid labour market. However, even in this dynamic environment, the big stay is making its presence felt. According to the Office for National Statistics, the UK's job-to-job -job movement rate has been on a downward trajectory. This suggests that British workers, much like their counterparts in other parts of the world, are becoming increasingly cautious about switching jobs. The reasons for this newfound reticence are multifaceted. The economic uncertainty unleashed by Brexit, coupled with the global pandemic, has undoubtedly played a role. When the ground beneath your feet feels unsteady, it's only natural to seek solace in the familiar. The American Narrative. Now let's turn our attention to the United States, a nation often lauded for its entrepreneurial spirit and dynamic labor market. Even in this land of opportunity, the big stay is making its mark. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that the quit rate, a key barometer of employee confidence and willingness to change jobs, has been steadily declining. This trend is particularly pronounced in industries such as technology and finance, sectors that were once synonymous with high employee turnover. This shift in behaviour can be attributed to several factors. The rise of remote work, for instance, has reduced the geographic constraints that once compelled employees to relocate for new opportunities. Why uproot your life and move across the country when you can find a fulfilling and well-paying job from the comfort of your own home? A time for prudence. Furthermore, 
The economic fallout from the pandemic has instilled a sense of caution in many American workers. The memory of mass layoffs and furloughs is still fresh in the minds of many, making job security a top priority. In these uncertain times, it's understandable that employees are hesitant to rock the boat. The perceived stability of a steady paycheck, even if it means forgoing a potential salary bump elsewhere, has become increasingly appealing. This trend is further amplified by the shrinking pay premium offered to job switchers. In the past, it was not uncommon for employees to command significant salary increases by moving to new companies. However, as companies tighten their belts and prioritize financial prudence, those days are becoming increasingly rare. The history books tell a tale. To truly grasp the significance of the big stay, we must turn to the annals of history. Throughout the ages, economic cycles have ebbed and flowed, shaping the dynamics of the labor market. During periods of economic expansion and prosperity, job markets tend to loosen, creating a fertile ground for job hopping and career advancement. Employees emboldened by a sense of abundance are more likely to seek out new opportunities and demand higher wages. Conversely, during times of economic contraction and uncertainty, job markets tighten, prompting employees to prioritize job security over salary increases. This pattern has repeated itself throughout history, from the Industrial Revolution to the Great Depression to the more recent global financial crisis. The Echoes of the Past The current economic climate characterized by geopolitical tensions, inflationary pressures and supply chain disruptions bears an uncanny resemblance to these historical periods of uncertainty. It's no coincidence that the big stay is emerging as a dominant trend in such an environment. Just as our ancestors sought stability and security during turbulent times, so too are we witnessing a similar instinct among today's workforce. The desire to weather the storm, to hold on to what we have, is deeply ingrained in our collective psyche. This is not to say that the big stay is solely driven by fear or a lack of ambition. On the contrary, it reflects a pragmatic adaptation to the prevailing economic realities. It's about making calculated decisions that prioritize long-term security and well-being over short-term gains. The new paradigm. As we move forward, it's crucial to recognize that the big stay is not merely a passing fad. It represents a fundamental shift in the employer-employee dynamic, a new paradigm that will shape the future of work. Companies can no longer rely on the allure of a slightly higher salary to attract and retain top talent. They must adapt to this new reality by offering more than just financial compensation. They must prioritize employee well-being, provide opportunities for growth and development, and foster a culture of purpose and belonging. In this evolving landscape, the onus is on both employers and employees to navigate this new terrain with wisdom and foresight. Greetings once again, my astute colleagues. Let's delve into the big stay and why employees choose to stay put. Familiarity brings comfort in a world of uncertainty. The workplace is more than income. It's where relationships and routines form. In economic uncertainty, familiar environments offer solace. Furthermore, let us not underestimate the lingering impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. This global crisis, unprecedented in modern times, has profoundly altered our relationship with work, prompting a collective reassessment of priorities. The rise of remote work, once a niche perk, has become mainstream, blurring the lines between our professional and personal lives. 
This newfound flexibility, embraced by both employers and employees, has fundamentally reshaped our perception of the workplace. The daily commute, once an unavoidable aspect of professional life, has been replaced for many by the convenience of working from home. This shift has not only saved employees time and money, but has also afforded them greater control over their schedules, enabling them to better balance their work and personal obligations. This newfound emphasis on work-life harmony, my discerning viewers, is a key driver of the big stay. Employees, having tasted the sweet nectar of flexibility, are reluctant to return to the rigid structures of the pre-pandemic era. They've discovered the benefits of spending more time with loved ones, pursuing personal passions and prioritizing their well-being. These intangible rewards, often overlooked in the relentless pursuit of career advancement, have taken on a newfound significance. Companies, too, are recognising the importance of work-life harmony in attracting and retaining top talent. They're offering flexible work arrangements, generous parental leave policies and wellness programmes to create a more supportive and accommodating work environment. Beyond monetary compensation, this shift signals a fundamental change in the employer-employee dynamic. No longer is it enough to simply offer a competitive salary and benefits package. Employees are seeking more than just financial compensation. They're looking for employers who value their well-being, respect their time and provide opportunities for growth and development. This represents a significant departure from the transactional nature of work that characterised previous eras. The rise of purpose-driven organisations committed to making a positive impact on the world has further fuelled this trend. Employees, particularly Millennials and Gen Z, are increasingly drawn to companies whose values align with their own. the intangible rewards. They're seeking roles that offer a sense of purpose, a belief that their work contributes to something larger than themselves. This desire to make a difference, coupled with the allure of work-life harmony, is prompting employees to prioritize intangible rewards over purely monetary gains. This is not to say that salary is no longer a factor in career decisions. Of course, financial security remains a top priority for most individuals. However, it's no longer the sole driving force. Employees are increasingly willing to forego a marginal salary increase in exchange for a role that offers greater flexibility, purpose or work-life balance. This shift in priorities has profound implications for employers. To attract and retain top talent in this evolving landscape, companies must adapt their strategies. They must move beyond the traditional transactional model of employment and embrace a more holistic approach that recognizes the multifaceted needs of their workforce. This includes creating a culture of trust and respect providing opportunities for professional growth and development, and fostering a sense of community and belonging. Companies that fail to adapt to this new reality risk losing their most valuable assets, their employees. In essence, my friends, we're witnessing the emergence of a new social contract between employers and employees. This new contract is based on mutual respect, shared values, and a recognition that work is just one aspect of a fulfilling life. It's a contract that acknowledges the importance of work-life harmony, personal growth, and the pursuit of purpose. As we navigate this evolving landscape, it's imperative that we embrace this new paradigm and work together to create a future of work that benefits both individuals and organisations.
Ah, the eternal dilemma, my friends, to stay or to go. This is the very crossroads at which many of you find yourselves. The Big Stay presents us with a fascinating paradox. On one hand, the security and familiarity of an existing role are undeniably appealing, especially in times of economic uncertainty. On the other hand, the allure of new opportunities, the chance to learn and grow beyond the confines of our current roles, continues to beckon. It's a classic case of risk versus reward, of weighing the comfort of the known against the excitement and potential turbulence of the unknown. The decision, my discerning viewers, is rarely black and white. It's a nuanced equation with multiple variables, each carrying its own weight, its own potential to tip the scales. Let's begin by examining the merits of staying put. There's a certain wisdom, wouldn't you agree, in consolidating one's position during turbulent times. In a world grappling with economic volatility, geopolitical uncertainty, and rapid technological advancements, the stability of a known environment can be a significant asset. Familiarity, after all, breeds not just comfort, but also a sense of control, a precious commodity in an increasingly unpredictable world. Staying put allows you to deepen your expertise in your current role, to become a true master of your craft. It's an opportunity to hone your skills, to refine your approach, and to build an unparalleled level of competence that commands respect and admiration from colleagues and superiors alike. Moreover, staying in a role for an extended period often translates into increased influence within an organization. You become the go-to person, the trusted advisor, the voice of experience that others turn to for guidance and support. This influence, my friends, is not to be underestimated. It's a form of currency, a source of power that can be leveraged to shape decisions, drive initiatives, and leave your mark on the organization. Furthermore, staying put allows you to cultivate deep relationships with colleagues, clients, and partners. These relationships built on trust, mutual respect, and shared experiences form the bedrock of a successful career. They provide support during challenging times, open doors to new opportunities and enrich our professional lives in countless ways. And let's not forget the practical advantages of staying put. In an era of economic uncertainty, the security of a steady paycheck, the comfort of knowing your financial future is secure, can provide immense peace of mind. This sense of stability allows you to focus on other aspects of your life, to pursue personal passions, to spend quality time with loved ones, and to invest in your own well-being without the added stress and uncertainty of a job search. Furthermore, staying in a role doesn't necessarily mean stagnation. Many organizations recognize the importance of providing growth opportunities for their existing employees. They offer training programs, mentorship programs, and internal mobility options to keep their workforce engaged, challenged, and fulfilled. Now, let's shift our gaze to the other side of the coin, to the allure of the unknown, the siren call of new horizons. There's an undeniable excitement, wouldn't you agree? in venturing beyond the familiar, in embracing the unknown with open arms. It's a chance to break free from the confines of our comfort zones, to test our limits and to discover hidden talents and passions we never knew we possessed. The decision to switch jobs, my friends, is often driven by a thirst for growth, a desire to expand our horizons and to acquire new skills that enhance our marketability and open doors to new and exciting opportunities. In today's rapidly evolving job market, 
where adaptability is paramount and lifelong learning is no longer optional but essential. The ability to acquire new skills and experiences is a valuable asset. Embracing new horizons, acquiring new skills. Furthermore, switching jobs can expose us to new industries, new cultures and new ways of thinking. It broadens our perspectives, challenges our assumptions and helps us develop a more nuanced and sophisticated understanding of the world around us. This expanded worldview, my discerning viewers, is invaluable in today's globalised economy. It allows us to connect with people from different backgrounds to navigate cultural differences with sensitivity and respect, and to thrive in diverse and multicultural environments. Moreover, switching jobs can reignite our passion for our work. Let's face it, even the most fulfilling jobs can become routine after a while. The excitement of the new, the challenge of mastering a new role, can inject a much needed dose of energy and enthusiasm into our professional lives. the risk-reward calculus. So how does one weigh these competing forces? How do you, the discerning professional, decide whether to stay put or to embrace the unknown? The answer, my friends, lies in a careful and honest assessment of your own individual circumstances, aspirations, and risk tolerance. It's about understanding your own definition of success, your own career goals, and your own tolerance for risk. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person may not work for another. The key is to find the path that aligns with your own unique values, priorities and aspirations. Charting your course. Welcome back, my esteemed colleagues. We've explored the complexities of the big stay and weighed the pros and cons of staying versus switching jobs. Now, let's chart a course through these uncertain waters towards career fulfilment and success. The most rewarding career decisions are rarely impulsive reactions to external circumstances. They are the product of careful deliberation and understanding your own internal compass. This journey begins with introspection. Understand your own motivations, values, and definition of success. This process of self-discovery, my discerning viewers, is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing journey, a continuous dialogue with yourself, a commitment to regularly reassessing your priorities, your aspirations, and your definition of a fulfilling career. Once you have a clear understanding of your own internal compass, you can then turn your attention outward to the ever-evolving landscape of the job market. What skills are in high demand? What industries are experiencing growth? What are the emerging trends that will shape the future of work? This external assessment, my friends, is not about chasing after the latest fad or jumping on every passing bandwagon. It's about identifying opportunities that align with your strengths, your interests and your long-term career goals. It's about finding that sweet spot, wouldn't you agree, where your passions intersect with the needs of the market this alignment, my friends, is the key to unlocking a career that is both personally fulfilling and professionally rewarding. Now you may be thinking, this is all well and good, but how do I actually go about making these decisions? Where do I find the information I need? Who can I turn to for guidance and support? These are valid questions, my esteemed colleagues, and I assure you, you are not alone in asking them. Navigating the complexities of the job market, especially in these uncertain times, can feel like navigating a labyrinth blindfolded. That's where the value of mentorship comes in. 
Seeking guidance from experienced professionals, individuals who have traversed similar paths can provide invaluable insights, perspectives and support. A mentor, my friends, can act as a sounding board, a source of encouragement and a beacon of light in those inevitable moments of doubt and uncertainty. They can share their experiences, both the triumphs and the setbacks, and offer practical advice tailored to your unique circumstances. Mentorship, however, is not a one-way street. It's a reciprocal relationship, one that benefits both parties involved. By sharing your own experiences, your own insights, and your own perspectives, you too contribute to the growth and development of your mentor. Mastering the Art of Transition Now let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? The transition itself. Whether you choose to stay put or to embrace a new opportunity, the process of navigating a career transition can be daunting, even for the most seasoned professional. It requires careful planning, strategic networking, and a healthy dose of resilience. It's about putting yourself out there, embracing the unknown, and being prepared to adapt and adjust your course as needed. One of the most common mistakes professionals make during a career transition is underestimating the importance of networking. In today's interconnected world, my friends, who you know is often just as important as what you know. Navigating the job market maze. Networking is not about schmoozing or self-promotion. It's about building genuine relationships with people in your field, sharing your experiences and learning from theirs. It's about expanding your circle of influence and creating a support system that can provide guidance, encouragement, and yes, even job leads. Another crucial aspect of navigating a career transition is presenting yourself effectively. This includes crafting a compelling resume and cover letter, honing your interviewing skills, and perhaps most importantly, developing a strong personal brand that sets you apart from the competition. Your personal brand, my friends, is your unique value proposition, the combination of skills, experiences, and perspectives that make you uniquely you. It's about communicating your value to potential employers, showcasing your strengths, and demonstrating how you can contribute to their success. Your journey to career excellence. This is where Mjoga Coaching and Consulting comes in. We are your trusted allies in this journey towards career excellence. Our experienced coach and consultants provide personalized guidance to help you navigate career complexities and achieve your aspirations. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Invest in yourself today. And so, my friends, we come to the close of our exploration into this fascinating phenomenon, this big stay that is reshaping the global workforce. As we've discovered, it's a trend driven by a confluence of factors, a perfect storm of economic uncertainty, shifting employee priorities and a shrinking pay premium for job hoppers. The days of blindly leaping from one job to another, chasing after the allure of a slightly fatter paycheck, are fading into the rearview mirror. Employees today are savvier, more discerning, more attuned to the intangible rewards that contribute to a truly fulfilling career. This is not to say, my astute colleagues, that ambition is dead, far from it. The desire to grow, to learn, to make a meaningful contribution to the world remains as strong as ever. What's changed is the context, the landscape in which these aspirations are pursued. The global workplace is no longer a static entity a predictable ladder to be climbed rung by rung. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving ecosystem shaped by technological advancements, geopolitical shifts and the ebb and flow of economic cycles. To thrive in this environment, my friends, requires adaptability, resilience and a willingness to embrace lifelong learning. 
It demands that we remain agile, that we continuously update our skills, and that we remain open to new opportunities, even if they challenge our preconceived notions of what a successful career looks like. The big stay, then, is not a sign of complacency. But as we've also discussed, my discerning viewers, there's a delicate balancing act at play here. A constant tension between the allure of stability and the excitement of opportunity. Staying put offers security, familiarity and the chance to deepen one's roots within an organisation. But it also carries the risk of complacency, of stagnation, of waking up one day to find that the world has moved on without you. Switching jobs, on the other hand, injects a much-needed dose of adrenaline into one's career. It exposes you to new ideas, new challenges and new ways of thinking. But it also comes with its own set of risks, uncertainties and potential for disruption. So, how does one navigate this delicate dance, my friends? How do you strike that elusive balance between security and growth, between the comfort of the known and the excitement of the unknown? The answer, as we've explored throughout our discussion, lies in informed decision-making. It's about taking the time to truly understand your own motivations, your own values, your own definition of success. It's about conducting a thorough assessment of both the external landscape, the job market trends, the skills in demand, the emerging industries, and your own internal landscape, your strengths, your weaknesses, your passions, your aspirations. M to Yoga Coaching and Consulting, your compass and guide, and it's about seeking guidance, my esteemed colleagues, from those who have traversed similar paths, who understand the intricacies of the job market and who can provide personalised support tailored to your unique circumstances. This, my friends, is where M Yoga Coaching and Consulting excels. We are more than just career coaches. We are your trusted allies, your guides in this journey towards career fulfilment. Our team of experienced professionals provides the insights, the strategies and the unwavering support you need to navigate the complexities of the big stay, to make informed decisions that align with your values and to achieve success on your own terms. Charting your course to career fulfilment. Whether you're considering staying put and leveraging your existing skills to their fullest potential, or you're ready to embrace new challenges and explore uncharted territories, we're here to help you every step of the way. We offer a comprehensive suite of services, from personalised career coaching and transition coaching, to interview preparation and salary negotiation, all designed to empower you to take control of your career destiny. Remember, my friends, your career is not merely a job. It's a reflection of your values, your passions, your contribution to the world. It's about aligning your unique talents with opportunities that ignite your soul and fuel your purpose. Your future awaits. So I invite you today, take that first step, invest in yourself, invest in your future. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M Yoga Coaching and Consulting and let us help you unlock your full potential. As the great Nelson Mandela once said, there is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Until next time, my friends, may your careers be fulfilling, your aspirations high, and your journey towards success paved with purpose, passion, and unwavering self